Hey everybody, Fabio here. So I recently put out a short video of how to create a quick background for your characters. If you're, if you're in a time crunch, if you're just feeling lazy, you don't want to draw a background, it's a great way to create a mood and really give your characters a more finished look. So this is the finished product. I'm just going to turn this off so we can start from scratch. Just the first step would be to head on Google, find an image that you want to put in your background. High quality photo works best, but the quality doesn't have to be super great because we're going to be blurring this image in the end. Using our transform tool, and I'm going to resize it and adjust it so it fits a little bit better. This isn't done because it looks pretty terrible, right? You can clearly tell it is a photo dropped into our image. So let's start by pulling more focus to our character and adding a blur. Open up your brush library or your brush palette and click the teardrop icon. You can also adjust the settings by clicking these little sliders, just like that. Now working on the same layer as my background, I guess, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go in and just blur the background. So it's looking pretty good. And the last thing you can do, you can add some effects on top of this background, like lighting effects, to make it look like it belongs more in the piece. So working on top, a quick thing you can do, just real quick, is to add a gradient, just like this, and maybe throw a quick blend mode, like multiply, or, you know, overlay, play around with it. I think in this piece, I even did a color dodge layer right on top. This is where you can just have some fun. Have some fun, see what looks cool, and kind of what is the, the attitude that you want to get across. Right, so it looks pretty good, and I didn't have to draw each individual person in this crowd, right? It saved me a lot of time. And when you're working professionally, when you have deadlines to meet, time is a huge thing. So here's another example where I use that technique. So I have this girl drawn. I didn't want to draw the cityscape. So I found an image and I blurred it. And then I added the lighting effects and shrubs and trees on top of the background. So it really looks like they all just mesh together. We're just about out of time, guys. Hopefully you found this tip useful. Let me know in the comments. So just a disclaimer for this, if you're using a background, just make sure you're not stealing anyone's work. And if you're using someone else's work, make sure you give them the proper credit because plagiarism isn't cool. But anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video.